Hello and welcome to this episode of the GX video series and podcast. You're either watching us or listening to us. Uh, my name is Ian Khan. I'm here at the World Government Summit 2023. And I have with me a professor from Yonggi University in Korea. I have with me my good friend, Mr. Kyung Jun Lee, who is a PhD, uh, incredible insights about AI, developments in the AI, uh, breakthrough things that are happening in AI in Korea. Let's have this conversation. Mr. Lee, welcome to the show. Thank you for your invitation. It's our pleasure to have you here. Now, you and I met before as well, and we both are attending the World Government Summit, right? Mm -hmm. A lot of people, a lot of government leaders, a lot of great conversations. And you were also part of the GX Forum yes. that talks about government experience, technology, and many other things. Yeah. What have been your uh, insights or experiences uh, during this conference? During this conference? Yeah. Um, many people talk about the data and AI and it, uh, the relationship between the data and AI. So I talked about uh, the AI sharing rather than data sharing. So many people talk about data sharing initiatives. So they say many entities and people should share their data. But it is not real world things. Yeah, you are, you, I trust you, but I do not share with my all information yes. stored in my smartphone with you. Mm -hmm. It's the very uh, common uh, things. So, uh, so I, uh, during this forum, I tell many people about AI sharing other than data sharing. So we can store and maintain our information inside of us inside of our system and then we can train the AI with our own data and then we can share the AI with other people with our organization. Yes. Then the government can promote a new kind of collaboration between local governments, between central agencies and between public institutions and private business. Uh, so we can promote a new kind of collaboration and you can create uh, new values, I believe. Mm -hmm. So at this conference, we heard a lot also about the hyper-personalization of AI. Uh, I also discussed with Mr. Park, who was on one mm -hmm. of our episodes, uh, user-centric AI. Mm -hmm. We are also hearing about the metaverse mm -hmm. uh, and many things. Like it looks like in the future, uh, we will have uh, a world that has the metaverse, which is powered by AI which will be connected with digital payment systems and many other things are coming together to create this future and a lot of it is also very intimidating it's also very scary for people and average people like like me and many others who, who can't understand these big technological revolutions that are taking place mm -hmm. i know you're doing cutting edge work in korea mm -hmm. in the in the areas of uh uh, of, um, of AI. You're working with uh, Professor Schmidt Huber as well. Mm -hmm. Tell us about some of the work you guys are doing in Korea. Yeah. Uh, specifically, I'm de developing the hyper personalized recommendation for consumers. So uh, every day we buy something and we get receipt. So we do, do not want to expose our receipt to others, but the receipt contain the essence of the commercial activities of every person and every business. So we train our AI with that data. So the merchant or consumers do not, uh, do not have to expose their receipt data, mm -hmm. but we send our AI to the merchant system. Then our AI system learns from their data and they the AI return to us. Mm. So we integrate the AI and we made the global AI and we, we send the improved AI to the, each merchant. Mm -hmm. Then the consumer can get very highly personalized recommendation uh, from the merchant. Today, small and medium merchants cannot make AI because, because they do not have good skilled AI persons, and they, they do, do not have enough data 
to make high performing AI. But with our system, they can get help. Yeah. So without the yeah. skilled AI pers uh, pers uh, persons and mm. without uh, uh, much data, they can develop and own their own AI system and they can solve yeah. their customers. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So wh what implications will this have for consumers? Will consumers uh, work with technology and it'll help their lives become better so in some way? How will it help average people? Yeah. Do you think your life as a consumer is good or not? <laughs> I would think so, yeah. Yeah, yeah. but I don't know. Um, my, my, uh, I want some advice from others. Mm -hmm. What to buy, what to of eat, course, yeah. where to go. Yeah. So uh, I think we can find someone very similar to me in somewhere, some place in, in the world. Mm -hmm. So our system can find someone which, which is very similar to me right. in consuming life. Okay. But our privacy is pro protected. No one knows. Even right. AI do not know. Yeah. So because we trained on by the personal local data, yeah. the data was not exposed exposed to any other person. Mm -hmm. It's like ChatGPT actually. Yeah. ChatGPT train learns from the document data. The receipt is also document. This is natural language. Mm -hmm. oh, mm -hmm. What to buy? From, from what kind of merchant, yes. when, yes. the price, and the date. Yeah. So it's, it's a kind of statement. Right. Yeah. So we, we, are, commercial, we are developing some commercial version of ChatGPT, actually. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Excellent. Mm -hmm. And of course, in the recent days, ChatGPT has been in the news a lot. Uh, everybody's talking about ChatGPT3. But it's also the evolution of... Uh, generative AI, for example, you're able to create images now. AI is able to paint a picture and draw a picture, uh, and and have you know do all those things. Uh, what about using generative AI uh, for uh, as a tool for education for learning? Will it help us become more efficient and more happier in in in, in our lives? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, we can compare. Uh, our life to others' life, and we can improve our health and mental life and financial status and knowledge and memory and happiness. So our system uh, can be a generative AI uh, which generates the user's roadmap. Yeah. You know, so short roadmap, what to buy, where to go, yeah. Yeah, and yeah, so daily basis, weekly basis, monthly basis. Yeah. Based on the user's needs without exposing their privacy information. Okay. Yeah, Excellent. that's our purpose, actually. Excellent. Yeah. Well, thank you so much for this conversation. It's great to learn from you and to understand what is the future of, of AI. And we hope you had a great time here at the World Government Summit and the GX uh, Forum. Uh, thank you for visiting us, and uh, it's, been a, it's been a pleasure. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you very much. And friends, that is the end of this episode. Watch other episodes in the series. Just click next or uh, subscribe to our channel. Thank you and take care.